So it's early Wednesday morning, uh, February 23rd. And because uh, I'm working for the midnight shift now. So a lot of times when I do these videos, it might be very, very late. It might be after midnight. And so uh, since I was on REM kick and I did the... Uh, I did my vinyl collection. I figure I will do uh, my digital uh, collection. It's not, it's everything that I have and it's not everything that's out there, but it's a pretty cool collection. Uh, and there's a lot of it that I haven't even uh, opened up yet, which you will find out right now about. And first of all, before I even go any further, this book was like a bible to me when it came out in 1993 and i was really heavily into rem and um this book was so cool because uh you know it's a it's a collector's handbook so uh but obviously it's very limited because uh it only goes up to 1993 or maybe uh 92 because it was published in 93 uh, but anyway, so anyway, what a great book this was. I loved having this book, and I studied it like crazy. I probably studied it more than I listened to their music, which is ridiculous. But that's, you know, sometimes that, you know, my collector instincts would just kick in like, you know, and I would just, I would just check out what was available. I would just study what was out there. Yeah, this is pretty cool. So anyway, let me, um, oh, and then I have, <laughs> and then I also have uh, this little book, this stupid little book. Sometimes these are, these little omnibus uh, CD sized booklets are cool, but sometimes they're dopey. I don't know. I, I don't like it when I get a book and it's, and, uh, yeah, they give like reviews. They talk about each song on each album. And it's funny because sometimes you know, they start to, to critique the songs. And it's like, Hey man, you have no idea what I like, but I, you know, that's what everybody does anyway. So I, what the hell? So anyway, this is kind of a, kind of a dopey book, but it was cool because, you know, what it did was it, it gave you an idea of what was out there. Best of. All right, anyway. <clears throat> let's, let's dig in. And uh, actually, probably what I should do is just, this is a, uh, the uh, what I had, what I did was I picked up all the vintage years from the IRS uh, years. All th these were like special collections that had extra tracks appended to the um, to the to the uh, to the running order of the um, of the songs. <clears throat> so with this, you get. Uh, uh, you get the, uh, what the hell's that EP called? be an REM fan and I can't remember any of the, the the names of the EPs. I can't remember the names of the records. Jesus. So anyway, I thought this was a really great series. The IRS uh, vintage, the IRS years vintage 1983. Murmur. And uh, so you get the um, get the chronic town on here maybe oh maybe not hold on a second 
why I, yeah, it's, that's not on here. Hmm. Let's find out where, where it is on. But here's a 1984 Reckoning. Five fables of the reconstruction of the fables. Uh, look, 1986. Life's rich pageant. Eighty-seven document. Their fifth studio album. Here's uh, the Dead Letter Office. I think they actually did append a couple of uh, a couple of tracks on the end of this one as well. Long day of work. So 1987 brought two uh, uh, records to uh, their catalog uh, document, and then um, Dead Letter Office, which is also a good document. <laughs> and then um, Eponymous, which I thought was kind of a nice little collection of things. But this is not part of that, um, that Vintage Years series. So, but anyway, so here's the first five albums and then uh, uh, Dead Letter Office and Eponymous which brings you to 1988 alright so meanwhile they had put some box sets out with some um Live material included in these cool box sets. I remember playing uh, this one at one point. Yeah. <laughs> fables of the Reconstruction of the Fables. Yeah, what they have here is... Um, oh, in this case, they have... The original album, remastered, plus a bonus CD, the Athens demos. Uh, three... Previously unreleased tracks of the full album. Three bonus demos includes the never before heard track Throw Those Trolls Away. So, so you get this box. Nice booklet, and you get. Uh, Cards that house the, uh, the two discs. All right. So you get this original album remastered, and then you get REM demos are in here. cool disc try to say it's all over the place see right 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 there's your track list yeah cool and then um The Athens demos here. Very nice. There's <clears throat> all kinds of other crap in here too. Which. Get these. Get these cards. Peter. 
Where's Bill? Huh. That's Bill. Looks like that's Bill. And then that's Michael Stipe, I believe. Um, and you get a, uh, a poster, too. Let's check it out, man. I must have checked out this poster, but I don't know. Maybe not. Jesus, it comes in this little box, so it's folded up a zillion different ways. And uh, <laughs> it's folded all over the place because it comes in that little box. So. <laughs> Look at this. I can't even open this freaking thing up all the way up here. Okay, there it goes. There it is. Ah, you see? Well, patience and uh, success. So, uh, pretty cool, right? How am I supposed to show you this thing? So that's what comes in the box. Another lovely poster, right? All right, I'm gonna take 10 minutes to fold it back up now. <laughs> there it goes. Lovely. All right, so you get this poster. You get these cool cards. They're so cool. And you get the two discs and this little booklet. That gives you some idea of the stuff that's in here. Of course, the best thing to do is just put it on and play it. I don't think I've ever played this one, actually. Quite frankly, I don't think I ever put these on. I don't remember doing it anyway. So, all right. So here's the uh, the special box set for the fables. Fables of the reconstruction of the fables. And I have to say, this is a good record, man. This was a great album. That's why I wanted this box set. I mean, they're all they're all good albums, man. Well, when I say all, I'm talking about the IRS years for sure. And then um, the Warner Brothers years were, were excellent. These guys are a great band. And I remember going with my friend Chris and um, to see them play at Rutgers. And they were playing outside, and it was just like this little stand. I mean, as the way I remember it, they were just like in the middle of... We, they were surrounded, literally surrounded by the crowd in the middle of this little stand and the band was set up there and they just played. And it was just at some outdoor place right at Rutgers uh, University. It was amazing. So, all right, here's that box. And, and next is green. Yeah, I think this was a really good album. Their first album with um, Warner Brothers, I think this was an excellent freaking album to get. I mean, to, uh, to it was an excellent album that they put out. Pop Song 89, Get Up, You Are the Everything, Stand, World Leader Pretend. Man, I have, a, there's a live version from uh, one of their CD singles of uh, World Leader Pretend, and it's just, fantastic really powerful version of the song but anyway green is great so here's that uh their cd here is the box set that was released 
to uh, celebrate green. And you can see, I never even cracked this uh, plastic off of it yet. So haven't even taken it out yet. I remember California. Oh, that's another one. Great, great song, man. All right, so, and then um, next, Out of Time. So this was the one that probably, I guess you could say really broke them. They just exploded when this album came out because there were um, so many big hits off of it. Radio Song was a, was a hit. Losing My Religion was a big one, obviously. Um, Shiny Happy People was a big one. I think Near Wild Heaven was another... Uh, single as well but it's a good album and uh, here's what I have uh, it's actually a, a double disc uh, a two CD holder and of course um, they released a box set of singles and some other tracks so what I ended up doing, and oh, and most of these tracks were live, uh, live recordings. There were a few studio um, B-sides and a few acoustic tracks included in, in them. But uh, here it is. Here's the, the track listing of everything, of all the cool B-sides. And uh, man, I have to say, uh, that um, REM live, uh, they can be so powerful. They were so, they were so, uh, I mean, they had, the the, they had their music down so well that uh, when they would play live, man, they, they were just really powerful, I think. Uh, and when they toured for this album, great, great shows. Um, and just, I'm saying that just based on the live tracks from the, uh, th that were on their, um, CD singles, excellent performances, man. They were so good. And that's why I, I ended up compiling them on, uh, onto a disc and, um, sticking them, uh, with this album because it's just such good stuff. And here they are, uh, losing my religion. Rotary 11, and After Hours Live. <clears throat> you, you know what I realized I'm doing here? Is I'm putting these in here backwards. So I'm gonna fix that right now. How dopey is that? So here's their shiny, happy people, Slimline. This is a British uh, import. So was the, so was this one. Um, hmm. Here's the disc, shiny, happy people, right? And uh, there's the disc and 42nd song was, uh, uh, a B-side and uh, there's a live acoustic version of Losing My Religion on here as well so there you go and then here is a uh, radio song oh yeah that's right I forgot that that was a, a single as well the teeth are busted in here so this is the domestic uh, pressing. 
radio song. It's a, a remix, uh, the Tower of Love Bugs mix. It's actually a pretty cool mix. And then uh, there's Love Is All Around, previously unreleased, and uh, Belong, recorded live. I think Belong is probably, uh, it's probably uh, on one of their other uh, singles that's in this box set. Here's the box. So, nothing on the spine. So here's your REM singles collection. And this is, this is just a, a box set of four CD singles and all the, there's three, there's four songs, all right? You have the A side and then you have three B sides. They're all, all the B sides on these are live tracks. So here you get Losing My Religion, Stand, Turn You Inside Out, World Leader Pretend. Excellent. Uh, here you get, <laughs> you get Shiny Happy People, and you get um, the B-sides are I Remember California. It's just an incredibly great version of that song and you get uh, Get Up and then Pop Song 89, right? Then you get uh, uh, R.E.M. Radio, so radio, radio Song and uh, you get uh, live versions of You Are The Everything, uh, Orange Crush and Belong. Right. <clears throat> and near wild heaven you get tom's diner which is kind of cool it's silly uh you get low and end game okay there you go and it looks like this is a french box set these are all French CDs, apparently. So there you go, man. There it is. Great box. Here's out of time. The this is the what the twenty fifth anniversary. Yeah, twenty fifth anniversary deluxe edition. This has um, the original album on disc one. Disc two is uh, all the demos. There's a ton of demos on here. Like there's two different versions of Near Wild Heaven on that demo disc. Then you get um, You get uh, on disc three, it's um, live at Mountain Stage. I, I'm guessing that's not an, that's not a full show, but I could be wrong, 80 minutes. It'd be a short show, but it, it still could be like the a full show that they did. And then disc four is uh, the Blu-ray. So you get a uh, surround sound audio along with um, some of the music videos. Wait a minute. Looks like you get, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, out of time. Um, high resolution audio, uh, 5.1 surround sound, and then um, you get the music videos for um, a zillion pieces of like a whole bunch of their tracks here they had uh, videos for a bunch so all right didn't even open this yet didn't even crack this plastic yet and i know it's like what are you waiting for i don't know i don't know what i'm waiting for so here is automatic for the people it's just a regular domestic pressing of the album
Here is Drive with uh, it's a free world baby winged winged mammal theme and first we take Manhattan uh, the two the it's a free world baby and the winged mammal theme are just b-sides and then um, first we take Manhattan is taken from something else oh I'm your fan it's a uh, from a Leonard uh, the song's a Leonard Cohen so it's like a tribute album for Leonard Cohen right here you get Man on a Moon collector's edition CD I remember when these were coming out I was down in Richmond Virginia and, and I, I would see these come out and I'm like whoa check this out so it's almost like these are just a these are like a set bunch of CDs man on the moon from the album of course you get a uh, fruity organ which is non LP track New Orleans instrumental number two that is also a non LP track and then arms of love another b-side so you get a bunch of b-sides which is cool always cool here you get uh, everybody hurts part one of this is when they started doing this part one like you would get like they re would release cd singles but they would release like a two-parter so here you go they, here they started doing that with everybody hurts and you get new orleans instrumental number one the long version and mandolin strum which was previously unreleased everybody hurts is actually an edit so it's a shorter version and then here's part two everybody hurts an edit I'm guessing it's the same edit. Uh, Chance, dub, previously unreleased, and Dark Globe, which is uh, currently not available on any other CD. Dark Globe was, I believe, was on a uh, flexi disc or some other, like a free record from a magazine or whatever. Dark Globe, I believe that's correct. So. You get this, you can get this set, right? And you can get these songs, but you, you know, it's a CD. It's a regular size CD. It holds 80 minutes worth of music, but here you, they made you buy two discs for, you know, to get these different um, odd tracks, these B-sides and stuff. That is what they do. And I'm the sucker who buys into them. And then here is another one, a uh, British... British CD import. I think that these were. I think that these other ones were all. Oh no, this is this is a British single as well. Um, British CD singles, but they're in full size boxes. Here's you. Here's one uh, on a slim, uh, slim one case. Find the river, uh, with uh, the B sides. Everybody hurts live. I think that was from MTV, and I am correct. Yeah, I remember this one. And um, Orange Crush Instrumental, right? So, there's the disc. <clears throat> and yes, there's more. Another box. So, um, this is the uh, automatic box. And this had a lots of, well, it was weird how they grouped it. Um, disc one has vocal tracks, disc two, cover versions, disc three, instrumental tracks, disc four were, was a bunch of B-sides, it says. So, all right, all right. See? See, I'm trying to show you everything. Maybe that's too slow. Hey, if it's too slow, make some comments down below so I would know for the next time. So here you get, uh, it's a free world baby. And uh, you get fretless. 
taken from the motion picture soundtrack until the end of the world. You get Chance Dub, another B-side, but it's on the vocal tracks thing. Um, and Starmy Kitten, a demo of Starmy Kitten. So you get that. Here's the cover disc. Covers, versions, cover versions. And you get uh, Arms of Love is the first track. You get Dark Globe, The Lion Sleeps Tonight. And then first we take Manhattan, another uh, Leonard Cohen track. Yep. <clears throat> then um, here's your instrumental tracks. You get uh, Winged Mammal Theme, Organ Song, Mandolin Strum, Fruity Organ, which is different than Organ Song. It's Fruity Organ. And you get New Orleans Instrumental Number 2. So, you, you know, we're already duplicating a bunch of the, a lot of the tracks that are in this box that were, were B-sides on these other discs. But they had got me anyway. They already got me, so what am I going to do? And then here's the B-sides. Ghost Rider, Fun Time, Iggy Pop and David Bowie cover. Memphis Train Blues, Pop Song 89, and um, Everybody Hurts, live from MTV Music Awards. See, you get, <laughs> I wasted a lot of money. I duplicated all, I got like doubles of everything here, I think. But anyway, Sometimes when you're a collector, that's what happens. Here's the vocal tracks. So I don't remember showing that. All right, so there you go. Nice orange box. Somehow. Oh, yeah. A little wear and tear here. Wow, it's kind of sad. All right, and here is Monster. And I did the same thing for this. All the B-sides. Right? There. Bunch of bunch of b-sides for uh for the, the monster uh cd single so there's the track list if you want to see it and i forgot that i did that with automatic for the people too <laughs> so all right and you flip this over Automatic B-sides. Right? So there you go. See, I did it with this one, too. So here's Monster. Here is... What's the frequency? Kenneth... I think that is such a great tune, man. And you got a bunch of live tracks, which I burned to CD for that uh, for that package there. Bang and Blame. Right. Crush with Eyeliner. The single. Let me see it. Ooh. Here is Strange Currencies. This is the fourth in a series of CD singles featuring songs recorded in Athens, Georgia for Greenpeace. Here's the, the disc itself. You can see the tracks on there, right? Here is Tongue. All right. I 
three more live tracks. Right? All right, here is New Adventures in Hi Fi. This the CD actually came in this big box, right? And of course, I keep this box with my 45s because it's exactly the same size as a 45s box. See? All right? Right? You understand what I'm doing here? <laughs> so I keep this with this. Simply because it doesn't fit in in, in these smaller uh, shelves, right? So what I did was, uh, it's great because the uh, artwork is black and white. And so what I did was just keep the CD in this box, all right? And there's a second CD with... You guessed it, a whole bunch of uh, B-sides. 12 in all, if you can see there, right? And um, what, a neat, what a nice little package I think this is. It's actually got the uh, the artwork from the uh, from the CD singles. Basically, what I did was eh. so there you go. That's what I did with this. My obsessive compulsive behavior. Uh, what a great album, though. I really have to say, this is a. I really like this album. Here's your collector's edition CD. All right. Yeah. in some looks like a scrungy diner or something and how the west was won and where it got us you want to see you want to for details see the inlay so here, here's the details all right there there's the artwork there's so there's guys and there's the details if you want all right and then here is ah i remember when this came out 2003 2004 and this was the special double disc package where uh, disc two is loaded with rarities and b-sides so I probably have all of these almost all of these songs anyway but it would be cool if they put the uh, if they release this package on on LP and uh made a special um package where you got the uh 
all the B-sides as well. Because you get 15 different, you got 15 tracks on that second disc. And here's the track listing, if you can see it. I don't want to take it out of this thing because I don't want to take it out. <laughs> so you can always look that up, I guess, right? And then, um, These are singles that came out oh. I got bad day I don't know if these came out to promote the greatest hits album which would be kind of weird but Oh, it was, yeah. Yeah, this is a single to uh, promote the best of. All right, so that, I was right. How did that, how did that happen? <laughs> so Bad Day was uh, released as a single to promote their greatest hits album, and it came out, it came with um, three B-sides, Favorite Writer, Out in the Country, and Adagio. And those are not tracks on the second CD here, so. Ah, I find that interesting, and I, I forgot all about this. And then there's uh, The Great Beyond. some live tracks from Glastonbury on here too the great beyond I don't know it's not saying that this is from the Warner Brother Jersey Records album music from the motion picture man on the moon so this is something else that is something else but it's got three tracks from Glastonbury, The One I Love, Everybody Hurts, and Man on the Moon. All right. All right there. See? See? That's what it looks like when you open it up and you hold it up to the camera. All right. So here's up. And actually, it took a while for me to... I stopped collecting uh, REM stuff for a while. Um, about three years ago, maybe, I started I started thinking about it again. I said, yeah, let me try to complete my collection. I, I'm almost there. I'll show you everything else that I have. So here's Up. Here's a single from Up, Lotus. God. Digi case is disgusting. It's got um, Lotus surfing the Ganges and Lotus weird mix. So you get a couple of uh, a couple of tracks, uh, non-album tracks on this single. British imports. REM at my most REM at my most beautiful with uh, Passenger. Oh, radio. Oh, my, At My Most Beautiful is a radio remix. 
at 334. Passengers at the long track, 709. Country feedback is 650 and South Central Rain, 404. And those three tracks as performed, all three as performed on BBC's Later with Jules Holland. Cool. There you go. And another one, Day Sleeper. That's me now because I work this four to midnight shift. And I stay up late. Day Sleeper and then you get emphysema. And then Sad Professor live in the studio and Why Not Smile, Oxford American version. So, okay. here's a couple of Japanese C CD singles. Uh, this one is Lotus with uh, the B side. It's got an extra track, uh, Suspicion, live in the studio, which I did not find on any of these other singles, including the Lotus single. And here's R.E.M. At My Most Beautiful, and South Central Rain is on here, so that is available on the, uh, on the At My Most Beautiful CD single. Here is Reveal. I was playing this album when I first got it and I really liked what I heard too. So uh, the inside. All right, just a domestic pressing of reveal. And here is a single from Reveal Imitation of Life with um, the lifting. Original version, beat a drum, the something demo, the Dalky demo, and 2JN non album track. 2JN, I'm pretty sure, is on the Greatest Hits album, though. So, just saying. Starting to get lazy, you guys. All those cool B sides and stuff. Well, you do get a rich bunch of live stuff, though. That's for sure. That was real nice. Uh, here's R.E.M. Around the Sun. I don't think I ever even played this yet. And from, I believe from what I heard, that th this was not their best album. Now, I don't know. I don't think I played it ever. the sun here is accelerate this might be the one that um, this might be another one that is not all that popular with the REM fans but I don't know and it's kind of silly anyway you know I, what I got to do is I just got to play the damn thing and listen to it and find out of course uh, Bill Berry was not with them anymore All right, and so that's all the legitimate CD releases that I have. I think I might be missing one or two uh, studio records. And I know I don't have their BBC collection, which I could have picked up on an LP in uh, Barnes & Noble. I didn't do it. But this, I'm showing you this because this is awesome. This is something that I picked up a while ago. It is a boot or a, it's an unauthorized release. And what it is, is their um, complete, fan club, the complete fan club singles from 1988 through 1999. And of course, you know, a single, they were, uh, put, they were releasing singles to their fans through their fan club around Christmas time. So you get a lot of Christmas songs, but you get all kinds of other stuff too. It's not strictly 
uh, holiday festive uh, tunes, but a lot of them were like Christmas in Tunisia. So, but it only goes up to 1999, 88 through 99. So you get 12 years worth of, uh, oh, and there are bonus tracks. So here, I'll just show you the back of this if you can see it. You know what? Let's do this. Just take it out so you can see it. You want to really check it out, what's on there. Right? You could probably find this on Discogs. I know they list stuff, but they say it's a bootleg and, you, you know, they won't sell it. On Discogs, but at least you could probably read about it if you want. And I actually, just before I did this video, I actually pulled out disc one and two and put them in my player just to see if they would register. Because a lot of times, bootleg discs they just they turn into mush, and uh, your player can't play it anymore. Uh, but Disc one, man, and disc two both register, and I played a bunch of tracks on disc one while I was getting this shit ready here. So double disc set, and the sound quality is not bad. Pretty, pretty clear. You know, they just somebody just dropped a needle on those records and they burned them to disc, but they did a, a nice job. They didn't do a sloppy job with it, which is nice. And then here is. REM Audio Visual, this is the stuff that would come out and it's got like a, an interview CD. The 1983 interview with Peter Buck and Michael Stipe. So, you know, right, there you go. And the book, the booklet has I don't know if it's a transcript of the uh, of the interview, but anyway, it's the collector's edition. If you're a big fan, you will collect it. Uh, this one I picked up. I I don't tend to like um, get those stupid fan club things, but I did it for REM and I did it for Zappa. I have a couple of uh, CDs uh, with interviews um, with Zappa. All right. So anyway, that's it. I can't believe I'm done, and it's less than an hour. 53 minutes. All right, man, I'm going to upload this now, and everybody have a wonderful day.